Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here. Ah, sometimes this is so distracting, is it not? Yeah, it is. It can be taking us away from the community that God is building within us. Don't get me wrong. Uh, these are great tools, great devices to be able to actually see towards, hey, what is somebody doing? You can text them. You can call them. Those are great avenues. Social media, great connections. But I love what Zach put here Take, on, on page 76. It says this. It says, when cyber relationships become your primary connection, it can lead to devastating consequences because as we're in day 10 within this being challenge commit to community there can be community that's brought forth uh, within on your cell phone on your devices absolutely but at some point there needs to be face-to-face -face time we've seen this over and over again through research but we've also seen this over and over again through covid I've seen it that while we connect on Zoom, actually it was just said tonight at one of our meetings because they came in person and this one person said, I'm done with Zoom meetings for a little bit of time. Because while that connection's there, you're not right in the room with them eye to eye and, and being able to feel that sense of that room, being able to um, smile at them and be able to encourage them. You can do that. You can do that through your words. I mean, it's great to have that technology, especially through this COVID, but what we've experienced, even just within the church, that people are young, uh, yearning for real relationships, real community, meaning not just the touch and feel, but the face-to-face -face time. And it's face-to-face, -face, not over like this video, but it's face-to-face -face that I sit next to you or six feet away from you and be able to talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. Um, whatever that is. This has been seen so much um, that we see the level of even in our biggest ministry within the school that we were virtual uh, for some time, especially this last spring through COVID. And it was tough. It was tough. Still community, still having a teacher teach, but it was tough. And people are still experiencing that throughout our nation and even amongst our uh, community here. And so virtual is tough. We understood that within our school that all of a sudden, as they're walking forward, it is really beneficial to be within the classroom. This isn't cutting on anybody that is going virtual. Um, this is just the realization that over time, we understand that the best benefit is actually to be person to person. About 95% of our school population is in person with safety protocols, everything in place um, because of the vital reality of how I interact with my teacher, how I actually interact with my uh uh, the classmates on the on the playground and those kind of different things. Community, real community, not just cyber community, is really important. The Bible speaks about that over and over again. And I know as you read through the pages here um, uh, of, of this uh, day, day 10, you'll get to see that vitally important to Jesus, committing to community and not just a uh, community that's distant, but rather a close community. Um, he brought those disciples together and he pulled them out of their routine quite often so that he would actually have intentional time to be able to say, whoa, that's different, out of my routine, out of my normal. Boy, how beautiful would it be for Jesus to be able to pull us out of our routine or out of the uh, continual swiping or continual just video feed and uh, the time that we commit to our devices and use that time to put towards community, real community. Use that device to make a phone call so they can hear your voice. Put down that device to be able to speak to your son or to your daughter. Embrace them. Uh, love them. Uh, forgive your spouse. Talk and communicate with your spouse rather than, hey, I'm at fault with it. Jess, if you're watching, <laughs> uh, we're at fault with it, right? Of being able to sit on the couch on either side, going through our emails and that kind of stuff at 8 o'clock at night because we, we put those things down. Let's speak together. How much time is wasted in our isolation with our devices or just our isolation with just self when it could be so much better used within community? The scriptures speak to that, don't they? Um, Hebrews chapter 10, Zach brought it forward here, but I want to read that to you. Uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 10, beginning at verse 19. It's a call to persevere, um, but it really ends towards a perseverance towards what? Community. 
We need to persevere and commit towards community, real community, because there's so much value in having face-to-face -face love and care and encouragement and support. And so that's what the church is built around. Hebrews chapter 10, beginning at verse 19, it says, Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, open for us through the curtain that is his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled to, cle uh, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us, knowing in view of God's mercies there, and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. There needs to be an urgency, so much of an urgency um, that we get within our devices, right? There needs to be an urgency right when that light goes off or that vibration goes or that sound goes. We pick that up and see what kind of community we're going to be building. Who's interacting with us? What does that look like uh, aside from our devices of the urgency that the day of the Lord is approaching? The day of the Lord is coming. Jesus said he is coming back. And the day and the urgency of that is that the gospel needs to go out. So whether we need to repent of the time that we spend away from community or, frankly, on our devices, I pray that we do repent of that and shift towards, pivot towards using that time, using that commitment, using the, the incredible mercy of God over us to commit to community, a real community of professing and encouraging and spurring one another on within the gospel. So that's the challenge for today. Maybe some of you, this is going to be an easy challenge because you de you aren't of the generation or of uh, a, a, a person of a device that you don't spend that, that you actually do spend it with people. Praise be to God. Continue to do that. You can always amplify it more. But in probably a majority rate is that this sucks a lot of time out of our day. So here's the challenge, right? Here's the challenge. Day 10 of 40 in page 79. Screen time check. How much time are you committing to your device, to your screen? And change that routine. Change that routine. Use that routine to connect with community, real community. Or repent of that time where it's just everything that you're just bringing in and put it towards the use of the community of being with somebody of calling someone. Yeah. Go ahead and text someone, but do it in the committing of the way of the Lord that we just talked about yesterday. So screen time, check, check your screen time. There's great apps or you can go into your apps through your settings. I was going to walk you through that real quickly, um, but you can go into your settings, go into your app notifications or your app management and being able to see, you're going to see the screen time. What apps are the most? And you can uh, bring those down on page 79. But after assessing your screen time, what's one change you can make that would move you toward more authentic relationships rather than cyber relationships? Yes, it is an absolutely genuine push towards being with others, to encourage them, to spur them on, but just to share your time with them. Now do it responsibly. Do it, yes, at a six-foot distance. Do it with masks if that needs to be, um, but being able to understand that we have to be aware of our health, but it is so crucial to be together. And so come to worship on the weekend. We're taking those precautions, but we're together with one another. It's so important, worshiping God. Be in a Bible study where we have those things in place, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, be able to just continue to look towards how you can be with one another, spur one another on to good deeds, and, and love one another as God has loved us in Jesus. And so, what a great challenge we have. Let's check our screen time, make sure that that time isn't infringing upon the committing of our time towards what God is using us for in community. I'll pray for you in that kind of way.
How about we just pray right now? Lord Almighty, we thank you for the time and the allotment that you give to us each and every day. It's a 24-hour day, like every other day, like it has been throughout through the history of the world. And we know that Paul and Jesus and the disciples and the church have used time so well before. And we can use time as well, um, just as your purposes. So as we continue to align our purposes to your will, to be able to commit to community that is of your community and of your relationships, help us to be able to repent of our screen time, but also, Lord, help us to use our time in an incredible way towards your will, your mission, your purpose being done. Help us to look towards being together in the great relationship of one another, but also that relationship with you. Bless us as we continue to be challenged, but as we continue to walk by faith, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day committing to community, loving one another as we are loved by God in Christ Jesus. Have a blessed day.